Today I'm going to be sewing a mask out of my very extensive collection of fabric scraps because I have to go to a doctor's appointment tomorrow and they called me earlier and told me that I needed to wear a mask. I don't have one because I haven't needed one because I haven't left my house in weeks. So let's get started. I have quite quite a few different kinds of fabric here. I've got sewing things, I've got sign language tie-dye, got bluebirds, we got music notes, and like we have my prom dress scraps. <laughs> I feel like my struggle with the decision making here is I don't want to like use up fabric that I would have wanted to use for something else, but at the same time, like this is something that I probably will keep forever, Just, you know, as a good, good souvenir of this time in history. Ooh, these very troubled times in history. This fabric was my initial thought. Actually, my initial thought was to just use this black, but then I thought that I might look like a little too emo with just this. So I think I'm gonna use this first because you're supposed to make them with multiple layers of fabric. So I feel like I'll make it with the black two layers. I'm also kind of leaning towards the sunflower because I really love this fabric and I've been waiting to like use it on something but I'm not sure that I have enough to use for like something big. I feel like this would be a good idea to use this and have it always. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the sunflower actually now that I think about it. To be completely honest, I'm not entirely sure like how you're supposed to make them, but I have a feeling that it won't be hard to just improvise. What I think I'm gonna do is cut this in half down the seam. I have a very go with the flow style of sewing, if you can't tell. supposed to fold it and like pinch it. Or should I do this after they're sewn together? It seems like it'd be a good idea to sew these together first. More than anything I realized there's just a lot of cat hair on this. I feel like my brain knows what it wants to do, but then doesn't know how to do it. Can it? decided to sew across here first, here and here, and then figure out how to do this part.
did this whole side without realizing that I was doing the back stitch on the wrong side. That's all right. It doesn't, it only looks a little bit bad, <laughs> but this side looks better. It's almost straight. This took forever for me to pin. Um, it ended up being a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be because I had to fold it over because I completely messed up like the measurements of my face and how much I thought that it would um, shrink down by doing like the scrunching. So I had to fold it in half and then we're using hair bands and like doing that to make like the ear elastics to hold it on. Um, it's been a ride, but I think this might work. This is what we have. I ended up um, like folding over the bottom so you could, so it's more like fitted to the bottom of my face. However, it is like because of the extra thickness of it, it gets hot in here so fast and I feel like literally short of breath even wearing it just now. So I feel like I'm gonna have to cut out some of the layers because I literally like, can't breathe at all in it. So I just cut out part of like the folded over layer and that makes it a little bit more bearable. Um, but it is still quite toasty and quite hard to breathe. Um, I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't, but I'm still gonna wear it. <laughs> Because that's what we're supposed to do, and I want to be a responsible human. Can you even, like, hear me? Is it so muffled from this? Oh my god, I'm free. 